Hey, good afternoon. Yeah, it's really not just a uh, setback for the town of Abita Springs. It's really a setback for St. Tammany Parish as well. This is Abita's second loss in court. They lost a very similar battle in, a, in federal court right before Christmas. This one in the 19th Judicial District State Court here in Baton Rouge. Their, their concerns are simple. They're concerned about their drinking water. They're concerned about the reputation of their town. And they're really concerned about who has the final say over zoning. Who can say what can go where in an individual town or an individual parish. This time, the, the mayor of the town was able to at least take the stand and voice his concerns. But as you might imagine, when he left the courtroom, he was very disappointed. Very disappointed on the judge's decision. And you know, it's not always been about the one well, and that's what they're trying to make it out about the one exploratory well. Well, this started out as a fracking well, and it started out at 60,000 acres, is, is, and then it was changed to minimize the impact to go because they knew it would go to courts. Well, essentially, the judge ruled that the department, the, the Office of Conservation, did exactly what it should have done. It followed its process, it documented its process, and it reached the right conclusion. Now, the battle is not yet over. St. Tammany Parish has a case that's still in appeals court, and there is still a cease and desist order in place on the Hellish site where the exploratory well would go in first and perhaps fracking operations would begin later down the road. But at this point, nothing is going to happen. Hellish obviously delighted with the ruling here in state court in Baton Rouge, the town of Abita, and the mayor not so happy. Guys, back to you.